UK and Germany have announced a new treaty that will aid a wider post-Brexit reset between the UK and the EU. UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer, who is on his first bilateral trip since taking office last month, has described it as, quote, once in a generation chance to deliver for working people in Britain and in Germany. This treaty is part of a wider reset, grounded in a new spirit of cooperation, with our shared understanding that this will be developed at pace and that we hope to have agreed it by the end of the year. Starmer spoke at a news conference with the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz after the duo met in Berlin earlier in the day. It is also important for us to further develop relations between the European Union and Great Britain. I am delighted that Keir Starmer has announced that he will seek a fresh start in relations with the European Union. We want to grab this extended hand. The leaders discussed the joint action plan to tackle illegal immigration as well as how to build on different agreements between the two countries. Meanwhile, Starmer made it clear that Britain has no plans to negotiate a youth mobility scheme with the EU to get better Brexit terms. He says he will not take the UK back into the bloc's single market. Prime Minister Starmer will head to Paris next for the Paralympics opening ceremony. He will also hold talks with the French President Emmanuel Macron. Yeah, and there's an interesting difference between France and Germany when it comes to, for example, supporting Ukraine. While the Prime Minister on Wednesday and the Chancellor of Germany were both keen to talk as if they were in lockstep on issues related to Ukraine, one consideration is that Germany and the United States, for example, do not want Ukraine to have the ability to strike deep into Russian territory, whereas France and the UK are willing to unofficially let that happen. It's something that was put to the UK Prime Minister earlier and something that he avoided on, in relation to this particular bilateral agreement. While the UK and Germany say they are, uh, neither of them have no new decisions and have no changes of policy to announce on Ukraine, it is believed it is something that was discussed, which is how can the UK use its storm shadow missiles developed with France to help Ukraine while at the same time not potentially provoke Russia by firing them or allowing Ukraine to fire them into Russian territory. But no progress seemingly on that one with Chancellor Scholz today. The focus on illegal migration and that new bilateral agreement. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.